there, I'm Susan McCord. Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, are you walking away quickly from your relationships? This is quite a common thing that happens with a lot of people. And a lot of it is because of emotional unavailability. People don't know how to put themselves into a relationship where they give themselves to, to somebody. They know how to be part of it for a certain amount of time but when it gets to, into a deeper commitment they freak out and they run in the opposite direction the interesting thing is we all deal with shit in our lives so this is this is why we can't always figure out well why is my career good and my friendships are great my family life is good why can't i hold on to a relationship because a lot of it's what where we give our energy to and where we feel comfortable giving our energy to if you're not comfortable being in a committed relationship, you're going to always find a way to get out of it. And you don't always understand that you're doing that. But the fact that you're listening and coming to this video means you know there's something going on. There's something that you would like to try and fix, something that you'd like to understand more about yourself. And this is great. So the first step to anything in life is understanding and owning there is a bit of a problem because once once you get there that's half the work done the other half is just understanding how to move forward with the information i find that men and women today have a lot less tolerance when it comes to things in the love arena than when it comes to their homes their careers their friends all those kind of things it's like all those things they can work around and make you know deal with the problems that come within some of those things but when it comes to love and relationships they don't have the same patience energy levels for things that don't work out or things that maybe aren't perfect in what they're looking for so this becomes a problem. So you have a few months with somebody, things are going great, then one little thing happens and it's not exactly what you want to happen. And so you walk away from it. And again, this is something that happens with a lot of people because we're all seem to be looking for perfection in our relationships. But if we're really open and honest about it, why are we gonna have perfection in our relationship but not anywhere else in our lives because you're always dealing with crap in every other thing. Your job's never flawless. There's always something to deal with there, but you have the energy and the patience for that. So the big thing to understand here is, first of all, where does the fear come from? Are you afraid of being in love with somebody and giving yourself that, that, intensely to somebody is that what the problem is are you afraid to let go and be vulnerable because being vulnerable is something that a lot of people have a tough time with and that's what love is it's also what happens when you're doing anything in life that's pushing you out of your comfort zone and maybe your comfort zone is your hardest place to be when it comes to relationship that's what you need to work on because if everything else is okay and you're, you're dealing with all that really well, then you've got this one big problem. But unfortunately, that is a big part of your life. All it takes sometimes is a little conversation with your partner. You don't have to run in the opposite direction if you're not getting everything met that you're looking to have in your relationship. It's about communicating to your partner, sitting down and talking to them about maybe some of the things that you feel are missing. Running away from it all the time, you're just going to have the same problems each time with everybody else. And I can bet you that it probably is around the t same time frame, around, you know, two, three months that you walk away. Because that's the exciting time, that's the euphoric time when you're meeting somebody and you're having all these great things going on. The connection is huge and it, there's a lot of chemistry. But sometimes after three to four months, it's not there anymore. But some people are very addicted to the initial stage of that euphoric pheromone feeling with somebody. And so they run away when it's not there anymore. Now, if you want the intimacy to be there all the time, you have to be able to be intimate emotionally back to them and if you're not 
you're people don't want to just have sex they want to have an emotional connection with somebody in the bedroom but the trick is if you get to know somebody and take your time understanding who they are and they understand who you are you work together as a couple it's not a generalized male female situation it's how you are when you're together and not having those expectations and wanting everything to be perfect all the time because that's just going to make you always run away and confused about what it is you're looking for and if you can get to three and four months on a regular basis with them you do have a c connection of uh, availability you are looking for something but you're pushing yourself away when it gets too close so usually this stems from having some emotional unavailable stuff going on inside of you that maybe stem from an early stage in your life or maybe a past relationship. Sometimes we hang on to things far longer than we need to because we don't deal with them when they happen. I think sometimes too when we watch our own parents and how they were within their own relationship can put a big thought process in our own minds as to what we witnessed and what we saw and sometimes that can be a good thing and sometimes it can be a scary thing and it can make us sort of internalize that and not understand why we're not moving forward in being into a healthy relationship and part of it is because we've kind of been brainwashed with our thinking and what we've seen in our younger years and we don't always know that's what it is but a lot of the times when you are having problems moving into a committed relationship, even though you want to be in a relationship, it's because there is something that is stuck that you witnessed or you felt or you were a part of in your youth. And sometimes it's just a matter of talking about it, bringing it to the forefront, to the surface and understanding, ah, yeah, you know what? I never realized how much that really bothered me. I never knew how much that was weighing in my thought process and how I look at relationships and how I am when I get to the point of falling in love with somebody because I'm afraid that I'm going to end up like my parents or like my, you know, my last relationship when I was younger. All those things can come into play. So always check out what it is going on inside of you. It's, it's never too late to learn a little bit more about who you really are and to change it up too. We're not supposed to be a certain way our entire lives. We all learn, we grow, we evolve. So the only way you're going to do that is if you acknowledge things that are stuck within you. And if you're repeating pattern after pattern, it's really, really time to get to the bottom of it because it's not good for you and it's not good for the people that are coming into your life because they're being left sitting there wondering what the hell happened. So in closing, I think the biggest problem in situations like this is we're afraid to let love into our hearts sometimes. And so we let it into a certain, certain place and then we push back on it because we don't wanna be vulnerable, get our hearts broken, so what we do is we repeat the pattern of pushing it away. So talk to a good friend about this, a family member, a, uh, maybe a counselor, a coach. Just ask them what you can do to try and rectify this because you obviously want to be in a relationship because you've been in a few and it's important to you. So find out what it is that's keeping you from letting it in. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. Click like, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do so. I'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks so much. Bye.